We are a charity organization based in the Gambia. Most of our donors are from the Europe and other parts of the <laughs> Like this place is the one really. So okay. maybe you can just look. Okay. No, no, okay, sure. Yeah. Because I've been there before, but yeah, I'll we'll have to see. Okay. Just Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back to them too. I'm your presenter today with my colleague. She's always behind the camera with Akinta. Okay, so we have the camera right now and we just head into Makasito. So we're just going to show you around a little bit of Birkama then. When we get to Makashitu, we will show you guys what we have installed for you. So it's a bye for now. Yeah, so welcome. We're in like Makasitu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, if we were supposed to show you how we get here, <laughs> it's really been an adventure. But anyways, finally we're here. The Gambia House and Donkey Trust. This is Makasutu Center. Okay. So don't forget to close the door. Come uh, in, come in, come uh, in. <laughs> so hey everyone, um, we are here at the Makasutu Gambia House and Donkey Trust. Mm -hmm. And we want to show you how this place looks like. And I'll allow um, one of the volunteers to tell us his name and what this Gambia House and Donkey Trust is about so that we know. Yeah, so, yes. Okay. First of all, my name is Musa Jalo, mm -hmm. a staff of the Gambia House and Donkey Trust. And we are a charity organization based in the Gambia. Most of our donors are from the Europe and other parts of the UK. Sorry, yeah, UK mm -hmm. and other parts of Europe. And basically, our main aims and objectives here is fighting poverty, feeding families. If you look around, Gambia is one of the poorest countries in the world, where most people depend on agriculture, either directly or indirectly. Mm -hmm. And horses and donkeys, uh, they play a huge role into our social economy, where mm -hmm. most people use them for farming, or they use them for transporting goods, and etc. Mm -hmm. So the Gambia Horse and Donkey Trust are called create awareness, educate farmers about how to look after these animals so that their life can how to call their life expand can increase mm -hmm. instead of them living a very short life. Okay. So the other thing we do we educate farmers, we give out donkeys to the very very poor farmers. Mm -hmm. We have been giving out almost about 150 donkeys to mm -hmm. different parts of the country okay. where these farmers will be given to this donkey in a how to call in an agreement base where if they look after this donkey very well these animals will belong to them and if they don't look after them we bring them back mm -hmm. but first of, the, first of all before giving them this animal we must train them how to look after this animal first before they can have the animals and we do a home check if the animals will have a place to live mm -hmm. like a shelter sort of so that it can at least be prevented from rainfall mm -hmm. mosquitoes and other kind of predators mm -hmm. okay. so we we also have um, educational programs where we go to schools and reach out to the younger ones, teaching them about animal welfare mm -hmm. and the five freedoms. So mm -hmm. we also have the students from the university and the Gambia College who normally come out here for their practical aspects. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we train also um, graduated students from grade 12 so that at least they can have some skills where they can go and start doing some practice for themselves mm -hmm. as the basics wound cares and farrying and it's making and etc mm -hmm. um, so this is aisha i tried feeding the first one which was luke mm -hmm. but i don't know what happened <laughs> to him <laughs> anyways but this one is so big this is my first time actually feeding a camel in Definitely. my entire life so I'll see <laughs> okay Okay, so I'll encourage all of our viewers to just come here because mm -hmm. there's so, so, so many things that you guys are missing out mm -hmm. in this place. So you guys just need to come here. It's in Makasutu. Like we have camels. Like people like me don't even know this place existed. So hey, um, he's one of the people that takes care of the horses. My name is Dambasane. Uh, currently working here as a staff. Uh, I came here through an apprenticeship program. We have a program called the apprenticeship program. Okay. So normally when you come in here, you, you do that for one year. So when you finish your year, 
So uh, they take you for some practicals and some examination, a mini examination to see whether what you learn here, you'll be able to work here. So if they feel comfortable with what they've seen in you, they will make an offer to you for you to work here. So that's, I, that's how, I, how I came in here. Mm -hmm. So when I was staff, so I started uh, working yeah, as a Gino staff and still a Gino staff. But I was given some uh, opportunities uh, to be able to handle the project donkey. We have what we call the project donkey. Mm -hmm. So whereby uh, we give out donkeys to the, to the less fortunate people who are unable to get donkeys by themselves. Mm -hmm and they are unable to buy donkeys for themselves. So we give our donkeys to them, for them to use it for farming. Some will use it for, for donkey carts and so on, okay. you understand? Because you know, uh, they're creating uh, donkeys, animals are creating a great impact yeah. in the life of people in Gambia. Definitely. So many people are getting their source of income from these animals, donkey, you know, yes. through farming, mm -hmm. or you either have a donkey cart Car. to use it and get something out from it. Mm -hmm. Hello, uh, my name's Megan. I'm a long-term volunteer here at the moment. I'm replacing Emily. She's been here for four years, so I'm here for four months, and then we'll work together when she's back. Um, I'm a veterinary nurse from Ireland, and I'm here for about four months, but I may come back. Um, I'm looking after the place in her absence, trying to look after the money and call-outs and organising who does what, and um, giving the guys advice on what meds to give, um, and learning a lot in the process because a lot of these conditions I don't have back in my country, we don't really see rabies or any tick diseases like we do here. So I'm learning enough for myself as well. Um, we have 18 dogs upstairs, all really lovely. Um, so I have my hands full with them. And I also have seven puppies that I'm hand rearing, um, three kittens. And then I come down to all these other patients <laughs> and two monkeys. Wow. So they're a rehabilitation program. They were two monkeys were owned by children that's illegal here mm -hmm. so we've taken them in fed them not getting them too used to human contact because our aim is to get them back in the wild so we might re uh, release them in the bush near San Bell mm -hmm. um, but probably closer to New Year so we don't advise taking monkeys it's nothing like that we're trying to get them back out to the wild okay. we need to help animals and this dog also they are part of these animals so we had to make it as a big hospital to include dogs there. Okay. So then the time dogs came in, we had to try because um, we had to try to take some staffs to train them. Okay. And then after that training, they came to suggest that best ones with, um, which are, who are good with uh, dogs. dogs. Stay with so dogs. then I was part, part of, of those, those team. Okay. And then they choose me to be there. Wow. So then I love being with dogs. I love all of animals, but now I'm special in dogs. And then I have more experience in dogs than Equine. some animals. Mm -hmm.